around. Right? That's what we're doing today. We're playing. It's a wonderful theme for the month of March. We're so glad you're here with us this wonderful March morning, and we'd like you to join us out there in video land and here in our sanctuary. So stand and rise. We have our fabulous song leaders. We have the Wooldridges and Mr. Rick Dale, and we're singing, I'm choosing heaven. Today. <laughs> beloved spiritual community love that song you know let's choose peace let's choose freedom let's pray for all those that are fighting for their freedom and we know that since we are one mind and we are all connected that our prayers matter you know I woke up this morning thinking what can I do what can I do to help the people in Ukraine and then I thought pray because we're connected and when we lift our consciousness the consciousness of all gets lifted so remember that and be, have them on your list of your prayers I was thinking also this morning that two years this is our last uh, two years ago this Sunday was the last time we had we were normal. <laughs> we had our normal life because the next week we were shut down. And for two, this has been a two year mark. <sighs> we made it. We made it. Yes. And um, a lot of people didn't. And so we bless their families. We bless their, um, their journey because we know that we are uh, we have eternal life. There's no beginning, no end to us, our consciousness, who we are in essence, our spirit always lives on. I remind myself of that because I want to know that for sure. So whoever you are, whatever journey you're on, you are welcome here to the Center for Spiritual Living. Welcome home. So we're going to start the service as we do each week with the flames of faith. We perform this ceremony to promote the universal consciousness of life. 
which acknowledges that all peoples, all faiths, all sentient beings come from the one great universal presence that we call spirit. Fundamental to this truth is the unifying nature of all religious thought and experience, which we honor here today. We light the candle for the Tao, honoring the universal path of harmony and equilibrium, the natural way. We light the candle for the shamanic traditions, honoring the beliefs and the practices of all indigenous peoples, the way of primal spirituality. We light the candle for Hinduism, honoring the path of knowledge, action, and devotion. We light the candle for Judaism, honoring the ethical path of living by sacred law. We light the candle for all forms of Buddhism, honoring the Four Noble Truths and the path of compassion. We light the candle for all forms of Christianity, honoring the Christ consciousness as the path of love. We light the candle for all forms of Islam, honoring the path of compliance with the will of God as the highest calling. We light the candle for the universalistic religion of Baha'i, honoring the path of unity and the path of peace. We light the candle for all forms of new thought, honoring the metaphysical path of mental healing through the practice of universal spiritual principles and as our practitioner Tony Sparks lights that last candle please let it represent the path that brought you to this service this morning Good morning. So happy to see all your happy, shining faces this morning. So let us go into prayer. I recognize spirit as all powerful, all giving, all knowing. It is the eternal being of truth, of light, of power, of joy, of harmony, of peace. It is all there is. And it is filling up this room this morning. We are one with this power, this presence. It lives within us. It beats our heart. It breathes us. It knows us. And we are so present to be in this wonderful light of this morning, knowing that we are divinely guided with our unique gifts and talents. And I know that today is a day of celebrating playfulness, of celebrating play, that each of us takes from this message a beautiful way of celebrating play in their lives, knowing that we are all able to express all the qualities of God and that we place the the talent and gift of play to mo this morning, knowing that each one of us has a special knowing that can incorporate this in their lives. And I know that we are celebrating this morning with each other, and I'm so grateful for this. So grateful for this morning of wisdom, of fun, of joy, of comradeship, of being together and celebrating the life that we lead and the life of God, knowing that each one of us is present today in this wonderful sanctuary, knowing that all is good, all is well. I place these words of truth into the law of activity and power, knowing it's already done, it's already so, as we say together, and so it is. Thank you. And now, let us find out what our affirmative prayer is. 
I mean, our affirmations, excuse me. So um, as you read it together, let's say it together. I am having fun with the divine, and so it is. Okay, and now let's do our declaration of principles. I believe in God, the one creative intelligence operating through the universe and operating throughout my entire being now and always. I believe this perfect spirit operates upon a law of mind and creates my experience exactly according to my belief. I believe this perfect creative intelligence can be used by me and by every other person to produce health, abundance, and love in my body and total life experience. I use it now, and I rejoice in it, and so it is. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. I was asked the other day, what do you guys believe in that church? That church. That church. That center. And I, I uh, have shared this before, and I just love it. I just want to share it with you one more time so we remember who we are. We are a radically inclusive, spiritually progressive, supportive community that celebrates the very diversity of creation. We strive to live authentic spiritual lives through the practical application of the teaching of science of mind. We engage in conscious practices that uplift our spirit, deepen our awareness, and ignite our soul's self-expression. We demonstrate active compassion to ourselves, each other, and to the world. We experience meaningful contributions through giving generously of our time, our talents, and our treasure we intentionally promote our community and our teachings. And so it is. And now, let's welcome Rick Dale. Thank you, Reverend Judy. Well, I tried to find a song about playing Twister with God. Came up a little short. <laughs> I did find a song about playing God with a twister, but it was not appropriate. So, I'm going to do a Rob Thomas song that is about playing on the street corner. And if we play with each other and we're divine beings, we are playing with God, right? So, here it is Street Corner Symphony. More than ever, 
My brother of every different color Won't you feel that sunshine Telling you to hold tight Things will be alright Trying to find a better life Come on over down to the corner My sisters and my brothers There for one another Won't you come on over Man, I know you want to let yourself go Let yourself go to shine But here and now this is our time I may never find the meaning of life But for this moment I feel fine So come on over down to the corner My sisters and my brothers of every different color Don't you feel that sunshine telling you to hold all right, trying to find a better life Come on over, down on the corner We can leave it all behind Never been a better time Come on over, man, I know you want to let yourself go On and on and on and on and on It was really hard to sit still during that one. Thank you, Rick. You know, uh, we have our beloved Rick's birthday was this week. And uh, also Pam, who's on the computer, on the on FaceTime, she, it was her birthday the same day. So we have two wonderful, wonderful people that's birthdays were this week. Okay, so you know, our yearly theme is living everyday wonder. For this entire year, that's the over theme for all of all of the um, talks and all all of the affirmations and everything. Living everyday wonder. And for the month of March, can you tell? It's play. It's play. So we have must have balance in our life. So we pray and we play. Isn't that right? So today it's going to be quite exciting. I can't wait to see what Reverend Arpad has in plan in store for us. His topic is playing Twister with God. Please welcome Reverend Arpad Petrus. <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so excited today because I have no idea what's going to happen. I really don't. I, I made a deal with God, and um, I said, I'm yours. You just work through me, and whatever happens, happens. If I make a fool of myself today, so be it. If, if I make a mistake, I don't care. So that's the commitment I had. So some of it is scripted. Some of it is not worked out. Some of it is... It's going to be unorthodox today, okay? And that's the point. That's the point. You know, it's really serious business to be a spiritual person, don't you think? It's a lot of hard work to be a spiritual person because you, you have to pray, you have to meditate, you do forgiveness work, you do m mirror work, you, you do all these things so we can release and so we can let go of stuff, right? Now, doesn't that consume your mind and your energy a lot? You know, because life comes at you and these things come at you. But 
Suppose somebody tells you a joke in the middle of your crazy day. So I'm going to tell you a joke. I don't do jokes. Wade does jokes. Kimberly does jokes. They're funny people. I'm not a joke person. So here's my joke. So this, so, so this man walks into the veterinary uh, office and he's got his limp dog with him. And he says to the vet, can you help? Please help. I, I think my dog is dead. He's, he's, he's motionless. There's nothing there. Can you check him out? So the vet says, sure. And he does his exam of the vet. And he says, I think your dog's dead. And he goes, oh, no, no, that can't be true. Can you do anything else? Can you, can you just do something else? So the vet goes, okay. So he goes into the other room and he brings out his cat. And he puts the cat next to the dog. And, and the cat smells the dog from head to toe, every possible inch of the dog, and sniffs, 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 sniffs. And then he looks at the vet and he goes, meow. And the guy says, well, okay. That's confirmed. Your dog is dead. <laughs> he goes, how much do I owe you? And he goes, $350. <laughs> He says, what? $350 for you to tell me my dog is dead? He goes, yeah, the first $50 was for the office visit and the last of the $300 is for the CAT scan. <laughs> now either that's dumb or silly, but it makes you change your perception when something like a joke breaks your rhythm of your consciousness, because we're always working, 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 working. You know, when you're younger and you got a family, you're always working to go to work, pay the bills and come home, cook dinner, take care of the kids, go back to work. You know, my, my daughter is a new mom and, and I look at her life and I go, wow, how the heck did I ever manage to survive? I mean, she goes to work, they work all day, they come home, as soon as they come home, they have to take care of their daughter, and then they have to cook the meal, and then they have to put her in the bath, so that leaves about an hour, an hour and a half of free time, you know. Uh, by the time she's in bed, it's 7.30, and one of them wakes up at 5.30 every morning. Wow, that's crazy. That's just simply crazy. So we, it's hard. But we forget one big thing that joy and happiness and laughter are divine concepts, aren't they? They are divine concepts. You never think of God as a God of laughter, do you? I mean, generally, you know, you think of God as love, <laughs> kindness, prosperity, abundance. What's the last time you said, this is the, my God of love? This is my God of laughter. This is my God of joy. What did Ernest say? He said, God sings all the songs, dances all the dances, paints all the pictures, and creates all art, writes every book, plays every game. Ernest also said, if we were to know a God of joy, we must be joyful. So if you know your God is joyous, your God is laughter, what must you be? You must be the same. You have to be the same. If that's how you know your God, what is the end result? Your God is the God of joy, the, your God of happiness. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a video of a bunch of kids playing Twister, okay? Now, what I want you to do is watch what they do and why they do it. Because it's pretty funny. These kids have never played Twister before. So, Mary, are you almost ready? Okay. Well, if it's almost, then I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we will wait 
for the God of Twister Way. Da 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 dee da dun dun way. I know it worked. The lights are gone down. God is speaking. There we go. seem very excited. I do not know. So what is what this is game? This? What is it? Wait, you guys have never seen this game before? I think, oh, I think I know how. You spin the wheel, and then whatever you land on, like if you land on left hand, <laughs> yellow, then you have to put your left hand on the yellow. I don't know what's wrong with my other hand. This is left when you eat. This is right when you go play. Do you know how you lose this game? How? You fall over. So don't fall over. Right foot on blue dot. Right. Wait, which one? This is my right foot. The one on this side or the one on this right. side? You have to do this to not fall. This one. <laughs> yes, that's your right foot. Left hand on red. Oh, which one is my ass hand? <laughs> this one. It's the opposite from your right foot. I don't know how so small the game can keep a human up like the boy <laughs> Okay, left hand on yellow. Which one is my yes hand? Yeah, but now we have to switch the color. Austin, you're out. Austin's out. Right foot on green. I'm out. Which one's my right foot? That one. Now you have to put that on the green. <laughs> Justin, you're out. Left hand on green. What? Which one's my yes hand? This is cute. I have my hand glass. Out. Ethan wins! Yay! Your turn to be the spinner. Okay. Um, up hand. No, actually down hand. What does that mean? Right hand on green. <laughs> How about someone use the green over there? Ow! Ow! Okay, okay, okay. Ow! Oh, How do you green? Green? <laughs> okay, okay, now I'm all twisted up. <laughs> what? Left head, yellow. Left head? Hand, not head. <laughs> Left head. I don't have two heads. <laughs> now I'm going to make this harder. <laughs> yeah. Right foot on green. I'm going to faint. <laughs> right foot on green? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. I'm a race car. just adorable. So what did you notice that they were doing? Why do they... Okay, this is one of the most popular games for teenagers. You know why it's so popular for teenagers? 
Yeah, they get to get up close and personal. <laughs> Little kids don't have that issue. So what, what behaviors did you notice for these little kids? As far as teamwork, as ter in terms of uh, uh, being some enthusiasm, tremendous enthusiasm. They helped each other. <laughs> they all went. We're a pack of wonderful kids. We're all together. We love each other, right? They don't have any inhibitions. Yes. There was no criticism. If they put their right hand down or wrong, it was their left hand. Nobody said, oh, you're wrong. Yeah, nobody said you're wrong. You know, the object of Twister is the way you win the game is when you fall over. Okay? So when you fall over, you lose your balance is the winner. Or if you touch the surface. Yes. That Right. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry. See, see? Keeping me honest, right? So we will connect those spiritual Twister rules to this game. But before we do that, we're actually going to play Twister. So I need some volunteers who want to play Twister. Uh, Bob, Kimberly, Wade, do we have one more person who's willing to humiliate yourself and be in front of the world and to fall over? I know my back. On my knee. Oh! All right, here we go. So we're going to play baseball, right? No, Tom. Bob, Tom, put that down. Put that down. Oh, boy. A small match. That's a, small very close. That's a lot of bodies that size. Okay. Okay. All right, so each of you get a corner. Okay. Now, if you take your shoes off, it'll be good. All right. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Happy socks. <laughs> See, you never, you, you know what my mother used to say? Make sure you have clean underwear on because when something happens and they take you to the hospital, she's got good socks. Okay, here we go. Which was the left foot? blue? Left what? Left foot blue. Left foot blue. All right, so far everybody's in the game. Right hand yellow. Okay. Left hand blue. All right. Left hand green. Okay, then let's try right foot blue. <laughs> Where's that down camera we need? We need one of these little... Hey, let's pick up the face here. <laughs> right foot blue. It's already gone. It's there. Right foot yellow. Ooh. Right foot red. Right hand red. Left. Left knee green. Not physically possible. Oh, Bob. I think Wade is out. What? Okay, Wade is out. I'm just resting my eyes. No, no, no. Wade is out. Wade is out. You're gonna pick. Take my dot. 
right knee yellow. Left hand green. Right head red. Right head red. There's no head out there. Right head red. Okay, I think it's a tie. Dance off. Dance off. All right. Yay. Yay. That wasn't fake. Who said that? Oh, heaven's sakes. Oh, yeah, where was I? Oh, here. So what did you notice? What was the difference between the kids and these guys? They were serious. They didn't laugh as much. They didn't laugh as much? They're limber. They're limber. They had a bigger mat. Well, they were only this big. Did they? Yes. Well, that's, I don't know, 30 years old, that game. <laughs> Way cheated. Way cheated. <laughs> so what's the repercussion for cheating? You get booed, you get taken away. Okay. <laughs> so the, the idea of Twister is you need a good foundation, okay? So they couldn't have obviously played this game if they were playing on grass, or you need a good solid foundation, right? That's what Ernest Holmes saying. You have to have a good foundation in your belief system to get anywhere in life, right? The other thing he said is um, you're gonna get up close and personal with things. Up close and personal. Make sure I'm not feeding back. Up close and personal, right? God will always challenge you. God will always challenge you. You have no idea what the outcome is going to be. They didn't know what the outcome was going to be. They were just willingly saying yes, and they were playing along. But God is all around us. God is dancing in the streets? No. What's a better metaphor for that? God is dancing all the time around us in all our choices, in all our activities. And some people have an aversion to play. They're so serious about things. I remember when I was younger, this was a message from my mother. She said, Arpi, don't be so silly. Don't be so silly. Don't be so silly. I'm a kid. How the heck am I supposed to be? But that message resonated in my life into adulthood all the time. Like I couldn't be myself. I couldn't be spontaneous. I couldn't be joyous. I couldn't, I couldn't just be. And as I got older, I finally began to realize that it's okay to laugh at myself. It's okay to make mistakes. <laughs> you know, who is it? Uh, Terry Cole Whitaker said, what you think of me is none of my business. What a great concept. What a great concept. So I, this is part of the discussion part. I have a question for you. We'll start with the easy one. If you had more play in your life, how would that affect your family and friends that know you today? Now these two, they're very admirable people because they've met, they're over 60. Okay, let's... Moi? They made life decisions based on a, a narrative. A narrative of trust, a narrative of play, am I right? A narrative of enthusiasm. And they live their life that way. And they travel that way and they do things. They were the first two to volunteer. Second? First? I was third, Bob. Bob was first, okay. And when I asked everybody about uh, who would like to volunteer last week, 
which is true. At this age, if you're under 60, you spend your whole time worrying about growing up and your career and your family. If you're over 60, you spend all your time worrying about your body and your aches and your this and that. I mean, I wake up some days and there it is. Like, what happened last night to today? It hurts. That's not right, is it? Yes. So, question, how would your life be different if you allowed more play into your life? They would enjoy you more. Okay. Woo, that's heavy. So you have the opportunity to be enjoyed more, and you're choosing not to. Hmm. That's right. Anybody else? Or who who has a resistance to play? Who thinks it's oh, we have a hand? And what may I ask would be your resistance? It's not the usual order of things. Yeah, okay. I, th I think that when we have order and routine and focus, it gives us a sense of control, right? And I, I know I need that. Oh, absolutely I need that. I like to think of myself as on a very, very, very long leash, okay? But I always want to come home. And if I have a long leash, I can play. But some people have a very short leash, and they don't want to go very far. So that's actually a good, good answer. Anybody else? There's a, yes, in the back. Oh, if I'm playing, I'm wasting time. Wasting time. You know what Einstein said? The faster things go, the slower they appear to the thing that's gone fast. Think about that. The faster something goes, the satellites are spinning around the world so fast. We don't see them, but they're spinning around so fast. They're constantly being recalibrated because they're in movement all the time. Okay, so their sense of time is much shorter than your sense of time. If you had a twin and you both had a, a watch on, the twin that's going really fast would experience time slowly. The person that's going real slow would experience a lot more. So, okay, so I know you all can't play Twister for good reasons, but we all get to participate today. And this is going to be, I'm going to play a song, and I want you to dance by yourself when the song plays, okay? Now, what this means to me when you do this is you're saying, God, I'm special. God, I'm unique. I am wonderful. I am in my place. I am letting you in. I'm letting the energy in. I don't care what people think. I don't care what people say. I am my own being. That's what it says to me. So when we play this song, it's only three minutes long. <laughs> it's only three minutes long. It's not, a, it's not an eternity. You can get in the aisles. You can, you can sit. I prefer if you stand because it's much more fun that way. Yes. So are you ready? Are you with me? Can you put on a smile regardless of your physical conditions? Can you move some part of your body? Okay. All right. Dave is ready. Do we have an almost ready? Musicians are still on break. Oh, we don't need those. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a funny from Dave. See, it's, it's, it's working well. Okay, we got two standers. Come on, standers. Come on, come on, come on. On the floor of Tokyo. 
Oh, down and down and down we go With the record selection, with the near reflection I'm dancing with, with myself, myself When there's no one else inside In a crowded, lonely night Well, I waited so long for all my love I've been shown And I'm dancing with myself I'm dancing with myself I'm dancing with myself Well, there's nothing to lose and there's nothing to prove And I'm dancing with myself If I look to the all over the world And there's every type of girl But your empty eyes seem to pass me by And leave me dancing with myself So let's sink another drink Cause it'll be me time to think If I had a chance I'd ask the world to dance And I'm dancing with myself Oh dancing with myself Oh dancing with myself Oh it's nothing to lose And there's nothing to prove I'm dancing with myself Oh dancing with myself Oh dancing with myself Oh it's nothing to lose I'm dancing with myself. This is it. <laughs> so let's sink another drink. Cause it'll give me time to think. If I had the chance, I'd ask the world to dance. And I'll be dancing with myself. I'll be dancing with myself So let's sink another drink Cause it'll give me time to think Yeah girl you go Dancing with myself Oh, dancing with myself Well, there's nothing to lose And there's nothing to prove I'm dancing with myself Dancing with myself Dancing with myself Well, there's nothing to lose And there's nothing to prove And I'm dancing with myself Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for playing along today and dancing with yourself. So let's get to the serious business of praying. <sighs> we could. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen next time. Yeah, there you go. We'll replace the meditation with dancing with yourself. There you go. I love it. I love it. All right, just join me in, in prayer and know with me right here and right now. As so we say thank you, God, thank you, Spirit, for giving us the opportunity to play, to have fun, knowing that we are special and sacred. We say thank you, God, for the ability to be alive and, and, and to be free. There's so many in the Ukraine and they're suffering and even the Russian people are suffering. We say thank you, God, for our freedom, for our joy, for the laughter. And we do the right thing. We know what is right to do in this world and we're there for it. We're there through it. Thank you, God, because I am alive, I am whole, I am sacred, and I am your servant for all things. So I release this now out to the universe, knowing it is done, it is complete, and so it is. So it is. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Arpad. Let's Have give fun. him a hand.
Thank you so much. So I got my exercise done for the day. That's one thing out of the way. No, just kidding. Well, when you think about it, dancing for three minutes or moving for three minutes sometimes feels hard. Yeah, this is wonderful. Let's give him another hand. Thank you for playing. It was a wonder wonderful, and I love the twister. That was great. That was great. And now, back again, Rick Dale. Well, now, I was watching all that pelvic distortion going on around me, and I realized that, you know, when we're when we're dancing with ourselves or with others, we're, uh, we're also playing with God. So we are the reflection of each other. So I wrote this song about five years ago about that. And we are the reflections of pure spirit. It's called Surprise Reflection. If I look into your eyes Will I be surprised When I open up my mind Will I If I gaze, will I be amazed? These are questions I reflect upon. If I touch you with my Will I still be heard? When my time is up, well, I have done enough to earn what I deserve. If I give myself, will I still be my? For these are questions I've left upon, and the mirror is my window, and the eyes I see reveal the truth of me, and the truth is. If I celebrate your life, will I come alive? When the moment stands before me, will I see the glow?
Such an extraordinary songwriter, performer, and a wonderful guy. Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you. It's time for our offering, and we have baskets at each door for you to leave your, uh, your tithe, your donation, your love offering in uh, every week. And I, I don't know if you all know this, but this, we are a tithing center, and 10% of what you give, we tithe back to where we are spiritually fed also. So it really just keeps circulating around and around and around. So it's a, it's a good thing. So uh, let, us let us say our affirmation together. My offering is my acceptance of God as the source of my supply, and it symbolizes my faith in the abundant flow of this supply. Thank you, Judy. So for today, we're doing a Ukrainian national anthem piece. So it's an instrumental. And um, while we're playing it, just I ask you to just send prayers and love to all, all the Ukrainians and also all the Russians that are trying to be on the side of Ukrainians and help. Just peace. Put peace out there. <laughs>
Thank you, Diane. Thank you to our wonderful band. Thank you to our guest uh, bass player, Lou Savage. <sighs> thank you. And thank you to each and every one of you that have uh, volunteered your time and, your, and your, your, your talent, your treasure to have this center, have this wonderful service here today. So everybody who has volunteered or has been in service this week, please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's a lot of them in the back and Pam on the computer, everybody that's been helping. Also, uh, our practitioners are still standing and our practitioners today are Tony Sparks, Cheryl Lyman, and Lorianne, Lorianne Witte. Uh, Cheryl Lyman's been holding the high consciousness for us all during this service. That means that she's been back there in prayer opening our hearts, opening our minds to receive all the good that we have been given today. So thank you very much. And they are available for you for a prayer at the tables in the back of the sanctuary and one in the um, tranquility room after the service. So avail yourself to this gift because it is so powerful. So, and now let's see. Now we have invitations. Oh, yeah, and I don't know if you're going to talk about this, but I don't know. Next week, if you don't get up an hour earlier, you won't be here in time. <laughs> next Saturday night, we turn our clocks. So get up early. It's an abbreviated version today. Conscious Connection resumes today at 12 noon. There is a small group discussion about today's topic. So bring your twister. Everyone is invited. Because the theme this month is play, the bookstore is collecting gently used board games and puzzles during the month of March to recycle, and used books are always welcome. Game night is coming Friday, March 25th at 7 p.m. Sign up on the kiosk to play Mexican Train. Next month, perhaps a different game will be on the agenda. Feel free to nominate your favorite board game or games for other months to come. The Animal Kinship Ministry team is requesting new photos of your pet family to update the collage they have on display in the bookstore. And we have three small group meetings occurring on Zoom every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday morning at various times. Uh, you will receive a flyer with specifics about each of these groups, including the Zoom info. If you have any additional questions, please talk to Mary Brogdon, who can answer any questions you might have. And she plays a mean twister, too. And now, who was born in the month of March? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Now it's that time peace. for peace. We're going to do the peace song because it's very apropos in this current climate of confusion. And we're and doing stuff. it in 4-4. Four, four. So for some of you, this may be like a brain twister, but we decided it's, got, it's a peppier appeal in 4-4 four, four and we need peppy peace. <laughs> peppy peace. <laughs>
right now that there is peace in the world and we have the power, we have the energy, we have the life force in us to make a difference and make a change. And so it is. And so it is. Wait, come on.